Hey, and welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to see how to install and run Olama locally so we can use any local open source LLM. Like I mentioned, Olama allows us to easily use an open source local LLM instead of paying the price for open AI. And they offer many great models such as Llama 2, Mistral, and Lava. Now, one of the ways to use Olama is to install a library and they have many different libraries for different languages and frameworks. Another way is to run it from a Docker image. You can also download the Olama software for Mac Windows Preview, which just came out recently, and Linux. And then simply all you need to do is you can open up a terminal and type in Olama Run, give it the model such as Llama 2, and you can already start chatting with the local LLM. But to use it with AI agents, we have to integrate it into a configuration so that our AI agent knows how to use it. And we can do this by downloading a model from Olama, saying Olama pool, and then the model name. We do this in the terminal, and now we have that model to use locally. What we are gonna do is we're gonna download Olama software for the Mac. Then we're gonna pull any model. I'm gonna pull the Phi model. And then we're going to create the agents with the configuration for a local host, which is how we connect Olama, which is going to be running a local server with our agents. Let's get started. All right. Well, the first thing we need to do is download it. So if you go to olama.com, in the middle, there's a small download button. Just click it. And then on the next screen, you can choose Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. I'm going to choose Mac and then click download. And then after you're done downloading it, simply install it and run it. And you'll know you're running it, especially if you're on a Mac, at the top right here, it will have a llama symbol, which means you're now running a local server. All right, we're gonna need two files for our example, a main Python file, and then an OAI configless JSON file. Let's first open up the JSON file. And all we're gonna have here is we need the model. So I'm gonna download the Phi model. We need an API key, which just insert anything here. We need to have the property with something in there, but we don't need an API key because we're not using OpenAI's API. And then we need the base URL property, which is going to take in this HTTP URL, which connects us to our local Olama server we now have running. And now back in our main Python file, the first thing we need to do is install PI Autogen. Open up your terminal, type pip install PI Autogen and install it. Once you're done with that, just import Autogen. And we're going to use the config list that we just talked about in the previous video. We're going to use the config list from JSON method. And all we need here is to put in the config list JSON file we just created. We have an assistant agent for the LLM config property. We just give it the config list we just created, which means this AI agent is going to talk to our local Olama server with the Phi model. Then we have a user proxy agent for the code execution config. The working directory is going to be called coding, and I'm not going to use Docker. And then we simply initiate a chat with the assistant to have it write a Python file plotting out the top 10 countries by landmass. Now, there are two things that we need to do here. The first is download our model. You're going to type Olama, pull, and then whichever model you want. So if you want Llama 2, you'll type in Llama 2. I'm going to use Phi, so I'm just going to type in Phi and press Enter. You'll know when it's done, whenever it's installed everything you need for this model and you've gotten a success. And now I can simply type in Python 3 main.py. And now it's going to connect to our Olama local server and run. All right, so it worked. It connected to our local Olama server, initiated chat with the assistant agent, and it didn't really give me the Python code. It essentially gave me a bunch of information on what I could do. And I think some of this has nothing to maybe even do with this, but that's fine. I even asked it to just write Python code, please. And it tells me that it's impossible. And now you know how to install and run a local Olama server and download any model you want and then use it in your agent workflow. This is day six of my 31 days of videos. If you need more Autogen videos, they're right here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.